Okay, the strength of acids and bases. Let's look at strong acids first of all. Three strong acids are specifically mentioned in the syllabus, hydrochloric, nitric, and sulfuric acid, and they're fully dissociated, uh, releasing H plus in water. Sulfuric acid has two H pluses it could release, but it always releases at least one, and that means it's a strong acid, fully dissociated. Now, all other acids are assumed to be weak acids, which is pretty true. Specifically mentioned, again, are carboxylic acids, such as ethanoic uh, and methanoic acids, and carbonic acid, H2CO3, is also a weak acid, specifically mentioned by the IB. Strong bases, well, those are group 1 hydroxides, such as sodium hydroxide, potassium, rubidium hydroxide, of course not hydrogen hydroxide, and barium hydroxide, that's group 2. They're all fully dissociated in water. And uh, the weak bases is essentially every other base, but again, specifically mentioned is ammonia and amine compounds.